Hey everyone, Austin here at The Real Seal, back again for another blog video to talk to you about foundation problems versus settling. When are you at risk? We have two major types of foundation issues that categorize themselves under foundation problems and settling. Now, much of the problems that you find in your foundation are actually caused by settlement, so we'll start there. Uniform settlement is the regular settlement that happens in every home when it's first built. It usually occurs within the first seven years and does not change for another 250 years after that unless mitigating circumstances happen. Differential settlement is what happens when those mitigating circumstances happen. Improper water management, poor soil conditions, maybe the soil underneath the home was not compacted properly when it was first built. There are a couple of different causes, but the result is the same. Your home is going to settle in different ways, not uniformly. So you'll a lot of times start to see these issues when you get this differential settlement. Windows and doors being stuck, cracking, sloping, bouncing floors, drywall cracking, and that brick cracking especially. You can see I kind of drew a little picture here with the water underneath the foundation. Improper gutter water management will cause a lot of these issues, and you'll see the stair step cracking down the side of the brick fascia of your home, indicating that that part of the section of the home has settled and sunk down. You also get bowing walls and chimney separation. Chimney separation from not having a proper foundation underneath it, and the bowing walls from too much water next to the foundation literally pushing in on the walls and causing those walls to bow or tip inwards. The solutions we have to deal with these, push and helical piers for your settlement where we will install push piers underneath the home and drive them to a supportive strata and then actually lift that home back up to maximum practical level. Helical piers accomplish the same thing, but in low weight situations. And then we have carbon fiber and wall plates that we apply to your wall. It doesn't stop the water, but it does stop the movement and the pressure the water exerts on the foundation from moving that wall in any further. Wall plates will actually even allow us to push the wall back to where it was previously or to where we call maximum practical plumb where you can get that wall back as far back as possible without causing any more damage to the home. And then I-beam replacement. This will also help with the cracking and sloping and bouncing floors. If you have an old wooden I-beam with improper supports, that'll sag and allow the floors above to sag. And sometimes you need to get a good steel I-beam in there in order to get good support. All of these solutions come with warranties and we like to make sure that you are taken care of and that your problems are solved. So if you have any questions at all, Give us a call over at The Real Seal. We're not everything's better when wet.